Is it alive? She's alive, although she's almost 20. She's still hanging on. <laughs> um, well, I'm, I'm, kind of, I'm actually excited to speak to you. I'm American Pie. I'm in theme today. <laughs> I thought I, I kind of get, it's, so it's not a regular t-shirt, okay? I'm, I'm still keeping it professional with the theme. <laughs> Perfect. Um, so I'm excited about American Pie. I mean, I grew up with it. I graduated high school in 99 when the franchise began. So this is part of my adolescence up to now as an adult. Um, what was your original experience watching the first one? Um, I was, um, I remember I was uh, shooting a picture in Canada at the time and I just went to the theater by, alone and I didn't, uh, I didn't, I didn't know anything about it. I was like, oh, American Pie, what's that? And I was just, I was kind of blown away by it. I was like, it, like it was such a kind of honest portrayal of, uh, you know, groundbreaking uh, portrayal about, uh, you know, teenage sexuality. I loved it. You know, I loved it. I, and I went and I watched it again. <laughs> and, uh, and I was so excited to get to direct this picture. And I especially because this one became about, uh, about girls instead of guys. Um, there's stuff in the, in, in the first few pictures where you cringe a little bit and you're like, well, we wouldn't have done that today. Um, but, um, on the whole, you know, they're, I think they've been pretty, you know, nicely presented and well made. Definitely, like you say, the times have changed. However, back then, they were just good for the, the audience we were, right? I mean, we're thankful for that now, that we were able to have that kind of uh, scenes and, you know, comedy moments. Yeah, um, I, 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 love, I love the movies, you know, obviously. Um, it, it, an interesting um, story behind this picture is that we were going to, it was going to be a, a movie about guys. We were actually, back, back in 2014 when we started developing it, we were going to make it a um, senior class trip movie, you know, American mm -hmm. Pie senior trip. Um, and it was kind of like, you know, the guy story again. But as we were doing it, as the drafts were coming in and as times were changing and events were happening around us and we we're reading the script and we suddenly realized we were wildly out of sync with the the whole with culture while we were writing the script and we decided that we were just going to you know change it and you know and, and and do what was the right thing to do at the time is make it a girls movie mm -hmm. and we the first thing we did was call it girls rules and that that title stuck right from the beginning so all the way through to release now. You so seen? your opening for this film was quite um, physical comedy wise. Um, I mean, that's, what a way to make an opening, I have to say. Was it planned originally for it to happen this way or could maybe that scene had been for, you know, something similar for later in the film? Well, we wanted to introduce Madison uh, Pettis, who plays Annie, right at the beginning of the movie. And that physicality of climbing up the garage and over the roof and making the way across the roof and down the window was really something that was kind of invented during location scouting after seeing this, the house and how it laid out against the skyline. And I we just thought it would be funny uh, to do it that way. Um, you feel like it should have been more of a centerpiece later in the picture? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it feels like that doesn't it? because it's kind of big. Yeah. Um, now we just, you know, decided to introduce the girls, you know, one, two, three with the freeze frames and hers was the biggest moment um, since she's really the lead. So how was, what was it like for you directing the scene at the sex shop? I mean, um, directing these gals and you being you know, male, I mean, was there any discomfort? Was it kind of like, okay, well, how are we gonna do this? Or, you know, that sort of thing. Um, definitely, not just in the sex shop, but all the sex scenes with the girls uh, at the end. And, you know, a lot of the, you know, way the girls are talking and the, sure, yeah, it's, you know, I'm an old white man 
um, and I've been associated with this series for you know 15 or so years um, but yeah it's you know that's <laughs> you know I'm trying to get a funny performance that has to do with kind of intense sexuality you know holding a fake rubber vagina and I want to be protective of the girls but also get the comedy sure it makes <laughs> And just even the words you have to say, you know, are just, you know, it's funny and fun. It's like, hold the vagina higher. <laughs> you know what? And I was actually amazed. I learned something about the shop. I didn't know there was like a fake mouth. When I saw it, I was just like, what? That's new. You know what? It's, it's, it's weird because the, the, those, it just so happened that the studio that we were shooting in Los Angeles, um, was a really a large, large sound stage, but on the other side of it, right behind the wall, we didn't know this, but there was a gigantic warehouse of sex toys. So oh. they literally, all those sex toys mostly just came from right next door. And, and one of the producers, Abby Lasanu, just went over to the place and said, hey, we're making this movie and we heard you have sex toys. And they're like, come on in and take what you want. <laughs> but, well, that was convenient. Yeah, it was, uh, you, you, it was, there was some amazing stuff in there, like, that you just, the tongue thing was, 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 was lightweight. <laughs> yeah. So, I actually had a chance to watch this with my boyfriend, who also, you know, similar age, um, and he was like, is Stifler in it? Like, that was like the first thing, and that's like the signature character. Um, how did you go about picking the Stifler for this one, female version? Well, we just did the normal reading things in, in uh, you know, in Los Angeles. Um, uh, Lizzie Broadway and um, had come in to read for Annie um, originally, and um, but we wanted uh, we wanted Madison Pettis to play that role, and so Lizzie came back and tried Stifler a few times, and she really embraced it. You know, she's got a, a kind of a raw. Um, Stifler like um, attitude just in in general um, and this you'll probably notice the Stifler character isn't quite as negative as as the male versions in the other movies um, over the years and that was intentional because we didn't really want the girls fighting with each other m making like a catty thing we wanted them more right. to work together um, but it was really just happening upon you know Lizzie she did a really good job with it. Um, so I know this is the ninth one of the franchise. So do you think for the 10th one, it's going to be like a 20th reunion? Hmm. I think that would be a good idea. Um, I'm not sure what the studio plans, though. Right now, I think they're going to see how this picture goes and then make a decision about that. I mean, honestly, what's your feedback? Wouldn't it be great? It would be fantastic. Yeah, I'd love it. Because I had my, I just had my 20th last year. And it, like I said, this is just part of like, you know, um, growing up and it was- Everyone, yeah. Everyone gets to do it. Yeah, for sure. And to finalize, just a, a question for you uh, based on your um, career. Between comedy and horror, which one is your more- favorite to work with? Oh, uh, well, comedy and horror are my two favorites. I'm not a super big fan of action. Um, you know, I, I don't really love doing drama. I love doing comedy and horror, but they're pretty equal for me. Um, I've never been asked that. <laughs> and I feel like I'm a traitor to comedy if I say horror. And I'm a traitor to horror if I say comedy. But I don't like horror comedy. Ah, okay. Yeah, I had to ask because they're complete opposites and you've done both very well. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Well, thank you so much for your time and congratulations, Mike. And I really, fingers crossed that um, there is a 10th but 20th reunion. That would be pretty exciting. I'll work on it. Fingers crossed. Thank All you so right. much for your time. You have a great day. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.